Hey guys, I've been using these silly things off and on since I was a kid. And uh, you see them everywhere at the camping department and stuff. My cousin called it a P-38. He was in the military. And he always had one on his key ring. They're a little, best I remember the actual GI issued ones were a little smaller than this. But this is an older, I think it's a, probably a Coughlin. I probably got a Walmart years ago. It's made in Canada. Anyway, I was watching YouTube the other day, and one of my favorite YouTube people was opening a can with one of these, and they did it this way and opened the outside of the can and had the lid hanging up, which you can see that this one sort of hangs over the edge, and it actually has a thing where you can hook that little hook under it to get some leverage, but... There are some of them that this area here's pushed in kind or pooched out a little bit. And then this is dropped in where you probably can't get a grip on that. But how you do these, the the way I've always done them is uh, get a good catch on the outside there and just rock it forward. Then move it down a little bit and just kind of get your rhythm going. Now, if you've got, like, juice in one of these or something and want to pry it open to just pour the juice, you can use this part of the tool. Don't try to pry with this because this, this little hinge right here is probably the weakest part of it. You can't actually open that up and, and screw them up. But uh, just kind of get it going here and keep it going. It just takes a little bite at a time. And it makes a reasonably smooth cut. I'd still be careful with it because it's not going to be like a home opener or a pull top. But it's not bad. So if you're out backpacking or even just day hiking or whatever and want to take a can of soup or some fruit or something with you, just grab one of these things and stick in your pack and leave it. It just doesn't weigh anything. I've actually got a little piece of lightweight thin paracord that I uh, have looped through that hole on here on mine and kind of makes it easier to fish out of the ditty bag or what have you so you can find it a little easier. Let's see if I can get that last little bit. May not be able to. May have to just work it back and forth. So yeah. You can see it's pretty rugged through there. I wouldn't want to try to Pringle can it, but uh, it'll get her open. You can also stop part of the way around and just pop it open and bend it up if you're going to use like some pliers or something and heat the can up on the stove or on the fire or whatever. I wouldn't recommend that. I'd, a lot of them have like a plastic liner in them, and I don't know about uh, how good it's going to be to to try to catch and uh, melt that liner. This is one of those tops I was talking about. I'm not sure if you could get in there enough to to cut that one, but it looks like you could. I think this was a pop top. So if it hadn't, if you'd have pulled a pop top and pulled off or something, I think you could fiddle around with it and get the top off of it eventually. It's not going to be a anything real fast but uh yeah that's a pretty neat little tool and uh like i said they got them at the bass pro freaking walmart's got them uh my cousin used to <laughs> got one or two of them at the big gun shows he'd go and wander around and talk to people and he'd come back he, a couple of times he showed me he said man i bought me a big purchase at the gun show and he'd whip this out and He's like, yeah, these suckers are handy. I've had one since I was in the Navy. So anyway, there you go. This is the end opened up here. Yeah, it's pretty smooth around there. Just where I got started, kind of took some big chunks there. So there you go. Hope, help, hope it helps. Thanks for stopping by.